I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'd like to talk about the 15th nakshatra, Swati. Swati is completely contained in the sign of Libra from 6 degrees 40 minutes to 20 degrees of the sign Libra. Swati's symbol is a blade of grass swaying in the wind and really what it's about is the air in wind because the deity is Vayu, which is the wind god. And it deals with communications pretty much. Remember, it's in the air sign of Libra. And with, with Swati, there's always this element or this ability and talent to communicate and communicate very, very well. So this is also considered the star of independence. Remember when we look at the single blade of grass which sways in the wind, it's really that people with this nakshatra strong can really sway whichever way the conversation's going or sway whichever way things are going. They're very, very adaptable. And when I think about people that have this nakshatra really strong in their chart, I think about the talk show host, Johnny Carson. And for those of you that remember Johnny Carson, he, would, he had a real gift with being a talk show host because he would let people think that they were in control of the conversation. But no, actually he was always the one in control. And that's one of the gifts and that's one of the talents that Swati possesses. And in Indian culture, many have, have said to me, you know, Swati is the nakshatra or the epitome of the great businessman or great businesswoman. But it's all about the deal and persuading people and, and talking people into things. That's what Swati is known for. So going to the mythology, you know, because it deals with the wind god, it deals with breath. And this can be very powerful because when we deal with our breath, remember what the great yogis say, if you can change the way you breathe, you can change your consciousness. But I think it kind of goes both ways because our consciousness kind of controls the way we breathe. But that's the power of the breath pranayama, breath work, and this is relative to, to swati, to be able to control the breath, the sound, communications. Saraswati is the goddess that's associated with, with this swati nakshatra, and Saraswati is the goddess of literary arts, anything to do with learning, music, talent dealing with reading, writing, anything to do with, with a creation of the arts. And that's what Swati is all about. Very, very talented nakshatra. And you know, people that have this nakshatra very strong can sometimes be in the field of music, writing, literature. Um, and you know, this is by the fact of being the epitome of the incredible businessman, Swati can deal with financial gains and arts. And let me tell you about the star that is, is important, the fixed star, Octurus. And Octurus is renowned for prosperity and it's renowned for success, success in the fine arts. So this is all kind of relative to the Indian myth in terms of Vayu, this, the wind god and swaying of energy in terms of pranayama, healing through breath work, but at the same time, dealing with the star Octurus of prosperity, renown, success, coming through business and the fine arts. It's a very, very determined nakshatra, I might say, but individuals with this are very blessed because they're easy to talk to.
They know how to use communications, and gracefully, I might add. But don't ever forget that this nakshatra is ruled by Rahu, and this can be a sharp cutting nakshatra due to its rulership of Rahu. So people with this, they strive to be independent. They strive to be individualistic and they are very ambitious, eager to learn. And because it's all about, you know, the deity associated with it, Saraswati, knowing, being educated, learning, but the arts, there's this beauty when it comes to Libra. Libra is the sign that deals with artists, particularly musicians, I find. But at the same time, because of this connection with communications and air, people with this nakshatra can be very psychic, very intuitive. Um, but they can be high strung sometimes and they can be shallow so they have to watch this this is where this all goes but i believe that swati is it's just it it can be very spiritual at the same time because did you know that it actually translates into the priest and so they can be very much into their beliefs and spirituality all at the same time but I think they can have a real balance with material and spiritual at the same time. So they're very, they're very much vata, because this is dealing with air. So they've got to watch how they eat, because vata can, is full of air. So, you know, this is, this is something that can weaken their system by being overly vata. But all in all, the thing I love about this nakshatra is the ability to communicate with grace, poise, control, and they get things done. This is a powerful, powerful nakshatra. But I've noticed that when planets transit through this nakshatra, because it deals with the winds, sometimes in world affairs, it can cause storms and disruption. It is ruled by Rahu, but very talented and perceptive nakshatra. So, if you would like to learn more about Vedic Astrology, you can always go to my university, which is universityofvedicastrology.com, or you can go to my website and learn more about the work I do, which is galacticcenter.org. Thank you.